This week's Australian Economic Outlook Conference, organised by Sky News and The Australian, one of the great insights came from the local head of Uber, Dom Taylor, who said the future of transport in our cities might be more of us sharing vehicles rather than owning them outright. But with pressure on family incomes, there's little doubt the shared economy is a litmus test for the financial stress that households right now are experiencing. It's no secret that the cost of living has risen and is only going up further. From groceries to utilities and petrol, we are all feeling the pinch. But what would not owning a car do to your bottom line? Enter Car Next Door. So we set up Car Next Door because we thought it was really silly the way that people use cars. Uh, they've got this expensive asset that's sitting around doing nothing for 96% of the time. Uh, it's wasting people's money, it's just a waste of resources. Car Next Door is a peer-to-peer -peer car sharing platform whose mission is to free people and the planet from the one person, one car mentality. This alternative to car ownership is appealing to a broader and broader amount of, amount of people. I mean, the recent election showed that there is a much stronger demand for taking action on climate change. Uh, recent research has shown that the biggest single action that people can take if they want to reduce their carbon impact is to, um, is to get rid of their car. We used to have a car, but then uh, we thought it would be better living in a big city just to be like close to everything so we could do everything walking distance. And having a son did change how we approach life. Like we want to, it sounds very cheesy, but we want to live a better world for him. Living car free is a big change. Um, but to me, it's made possible because of the sharing economy. So places like Car Next Door that allow you to borrow other people's cars. And actually, I'm a Palawa man, so Tasmanian Aboriginal, and I care about the planet and the land. And so one of the reasons we do it is because it's much, uh, much less impact on, on the planet by sharing rather than just everyone owning their own car or two. So while there are obvious environmental benefits to having less cars on the road, for those who choose to share their vehicles, there is also an immediate benefit to their household budgets. Basically, I think it's more the financial stability it gives you. Um, say, for example, on busy months, um, a good monthly earnings could offset your monthly grocery bill for the family, or it, it could be equal to two weeks of your rent, like, you know, we are renting at the moment, and um, yeah, it would offset two weeks of my rent. So a platform that turns your car you already own into an instant source of income. Obviously, like you know, anyone else, I was initially hesitated sharing the car with strangers, but obviously, hence why I started part-time. Um, after the first two months, once you start getting some comfort and seeing the cash flow in, and I moved my car into a full fleet plan, and then uh, since then, for the six months, it has been a joy ride. A joy ride for Car Next Door and their customers, which has been recognised by Uber. They've recently joined forces to help further expand CND's activities, all with sustainable transport options front of mind. So we're really excited to welcome the Car Next Door team to the Uber family. Uh, when I sat down with the founders, Will and Dave, last year, what became very clear was that we had the same mission. Uh, and that mission was to free Australia of a one-car, one-person mentality. What we could see is that if we were going to do that, we needed to bring the businesses together. We needed to bring a combination of ride share, car share, public transport and e-mobility bikes and scooters if we were going to seriously take on car ownership. We see this as a fantastic way that we can scale up what we're doing at Car Next Door, um, get people out of owning their own cars that then sit around doing nothing and into using uh, on-demand transport like uh, like car next door when you need to or, or an Uber or catching public transport or walking or riding uh, and then just using, yeah, using cars only when you need it. So while car next door is already an Australian success story, with Uber's help it has the potential to become something much bigger. The number one thing that Aussies can do to reduce their carbon footprint is to minimise the number of cars in their household. This is it. We have 15 million cars that sit idle 96% of the time. It's far too many. We need to work out how we can utilise our existing assets harder. Another added benefit in the world of a shared economy is the sense of community that it brings. Sharing economy is very important for us and just feel like we're part of a community and we're helping our locals too. Like everyone that's listing a car near us benefits from it as well, so we like that. I've spoken with uh, more people last month than I did at the same time last year. So what about the future of transport in Australia? What does it look like? We see the future of transport as shared, 
and electric. Uh, if I start on the electric front, uh, what we know is that Australia is coming from the back of the pack. Less than 1% of new car sales are electric at the moment. We think that's a real problem. Uh, we think rideshare has a unique role to play here, and that's why we are driving an increased in number of EVs on the roads in Australia on Uber uh, by halving our take rate for drivers in the current financial year. In terms of shared, it's all about how we can use our existing assets more. Uber Pool was our first product, how we get more people in the same car moving in the same direction at the same time. When you're sharing the cost, you can share the price and that reduces the price so that it's more affordable to work, move around our cities. Now with Car Next Door, it's all about how we can share the cost of owning a car. I think the future of transport in Australia has already arrived. Uh, for most people in Australian cities, you can uh, catch public transport, ride, uh, get a, hire an e-scooter or, 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 or an e-bike, um, catch an Uber when you need to, catch a car next door when you want to take a longer trip. Already, we are making transport a lot more efficient for people, but if we can electrify that and, and further remove the carbon emissions from, from transport, that's a really positive step.